Hello, it's Leslie Feinmaster. Welcome to day seven, your full week, your first week done, 30 days of yoga for beginners. Congratulations. We're gonna come onto our back with the knees bent. Take a moment to check in with your breath. Make sure you get that nice constriction in the back of the throat, the Ujjayi breathing. Sounds a little like that. So if there were people in the room with you, it would be loud enough for the person right next to you to hear, but not the person across the room. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Keep the right leg hugging in, extend the left leg out. Start to circle your right ankle in one direction and then reverse it. And now left knee into chest. Circle the left ankle in one direction and reverse. And then from here, make sure you check your lower back. Make sure it's not too archy. You want to pull your belly in, lifting your hip bones towards your lower ribs slightly. We're going to do a little bit of core work. So draw the right knee into the chest and lift the head and shoulders off the floor. Pull the belly in. Keep that lower back lengthening. Then lift the left leg off the floor. If that's too much, keep the left foot down. And release and lower. Once again, head and shoulders up, left leg off the floor, pull the belly in. If you want to work a little harder, reach your fingertips forward. If it bothers the neck, cradle the head. Keep breathing, belly in. One more breath. And release. Hug both knees into the chest. Good work. Now we'll keep the left leg hugging in, extend the right leg out. Head and shoulders lift. Pull in through the belly. And lift your right leg off the floor or not. You can always keep it down. Breathe, but keep the belly drawing in. And release it. Keep the left leg hugging in. Let's do one more. And exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Lift the right leg off the floor. Keep breathing. Maybe fingertips reach forward this time or cradle the head. And breathe for three. Exhale, two. And one. Let's release it. Hug both knees into the chest. And rock yourself side to side. Now take your feet hips width. Make sure the outer edges of the feet are parallel, arms by your sides. This is bridge pose. Before you lift up, lift your pelvis up a little bit. Tilt the pelvis. Then lift the hips, low back and mid back on an inhale. As you exhale, lower down slowly. Be sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel and your heels are right below your knees. Inhale, press up into bridge. The tailbone's going to reach toward the backs of your knees. Exhale and lower down. Now this time, inhale, lift into bridge and reach the arms up and over in line with the ears. They might not touch the floor behind you. It's fine. Just as much as they will. Exhale, lower back down slowly. Bring the arms down by your sides again. And again, press into the heels. Inhale, lift yourself up. Lengthen the tailbone toward the backs, the knees, chin away from chest. Exhale and lower. Draw the knees in and rock a little bit side to side. And then roll to the right with your left hand. Press yourself up. And then rolling forward. Take the hips back to the heels, extend the arms forward. We're going to set up for down dog. So the arms, like down dog arms, straight elbows, fingers spread, press into the base of the fingers. Remember, inner elbows lift up toward the ceiling a little bit. So in that direction, come up onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and keep your left knee bent, extend your right leg down, and then switch. Bending one knee and the other, bicycling your legs. Arms are shoulders distance apart and your feet are hips width. Now 
Now bend both knees, keep the hips up high, and reach the heels toward the floor. Keep extending back the chest toward the thighs, your inner thighs are spinning back. Then inhale, make yourself or make your way into plank pose. So remember, hips don't go down, hips don't go too far up, hips and shoulders about in the same line. Pull the belly in. Use your leg muscles. So lift the backs, the knees up, firm the legs. You can always drop the knees down anytime. So drop them down if you like, lower all the way down to the floor. Untuck the toes, hands by low ribs. Inhale, cobra, peel the chest up. Elbows are moving toward each other. Keep the belly lifted onto the knees. Tuck the toes, lift up and back again, downward dog. Stretch back. Keep lengthening through your spine. Keep pressing the chest toward the thighs. Then look forward and step your feet all the way up to the hands. Take an inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, bending the knees as needed. Inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms up. Looking up, ribs in, belly in. And exhale, samastitihi. Find Tadasana at the front of your mat. Big toes together, heels slightly apart or feet hips width. Press the inner thighs back, reach down through the tailbone, and lift the belly. Widen through the collarbones. Inhale. Sweep the arms up, let the shoulder blades relax a little. Exhale, fold and keep the spine long. Inhale, come halfway up and lengthen. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms and step back, plank pose, top of a push up. Keep the belly lifted, knees can be up or down. Lower all the way down on an exhale. Inhale, cobra pose, peel the chest up, pull the hands toward the feet, pubic bone is down a little, tailbone's reaching toward heels. Now lift your hands up off the floor today. This will really engage your back muscles. And then hands by the low ribs again, press up onto the knees, tuck the toes, and lift back. So as you pressed up onto the knees, you wanna do that with your spine being long, straight back. Arms and ears are in line. Check in with your breath. And then look up, bend the knees, and step the feet up to the hands. Take an inhale, come halfway up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Crown of the head reaches toward the floor. Press through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around, and up. Exhale. Samastitihi. Tadasana. We're going to do a little balancing. So start to ground down through the right leg. I'm going to come onto the left ball of the foot. So instead of letting your right hip pop out though to the side, draw it in. Lift your left foot off the floor just a little, but drop the outer left hip down. Keep the right hip pinning in and then set it down. Ground through the left foot. Left leg is active. I'm going to lift the right leg. Just come onto the ball of the foot first. So Sticking the right hip out is the tendency, so draw it in towards center. As you lift the left leg, the left hip wants to hike up, drop it down a little. Hips level. Keep the belly lifted to help support it, and release. Now, Vrikshasana tree pose. Grounding through the right leg, I'm going to pick up the left foot. Take it and keep the ball of the foot down. You can take it below your knee, right below, sole of the foot pressing below, or sole of the foot pressing above the knee. You can actually take it anywhere except on the knee, okay? So once you lift that right leg up, drop the outer right hip down, and again, squeeze the left hip in toward center. Then hands at heart. Find a spot to focus on. This will help with your balance. If you come out of it, I just did. Don't worry about it. Just come back in. If you're steady, inhale and lift the arms up. My knee is out to the side, but... It's a little in front. I don't have to press my knee back. It can go wherever it likes. That lifted knee, I mean. Exhale, release, and set the right foot down. Now we'll ground down through the right leg and pick up the left foot. Take your left foot, either keep the ball of the foot down or take the left foot below the knee or above the knee. 
Find a spot to focus on on the wall in front of you or on the floor a little ways ahead. Helps with your balance. Inhale, reach up. Remember, the left hip will drop down, the right hip will draw in towards center. If you've got your arms up, make sure your ribs draw in. If you haven't done this before, it's difficult. So if you're having trouble, you're not alone. It's always difficult to balance on one leg at first. So don't get discouraged. Release and set it back down. I always say with balance, never take it personally. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, and make your way into plank pose. Top of a push-up. Knees can come down at any time. Shift forward, hug the elbows in, lower to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra. Maybe a little higher cobra. Then to the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips back into down dog. This is a modified sun salutation. Inhale, right leg up. From the inner thigh, exhale, step it through between the hands. If it doesn't make it, pick it up and put it forward. Spin your back heel flat. Inhale, warrior two. So we wanna line up front heel with the back arch. Make sure the right knee is over the ankle. Drop the right hip down, lift the back inner thigh up. Gaze over your right fingertips. Now lean forward, take the right forearm to the right thigh, reach the left arm up and over. Try and turn your left tricep forward so the pinky finger will face the floor a little, thumb will face the ceiling. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down and step all the way back into plank. Knees up or down, shift forward. This is chaturanga variation all the way down to the floor. Inhale, cobra, little cobra, or you can go higher cobra, and then exhale to the knees and tuck the toes back into down dog. Inhale, left leg floats up from the inner thigh. Exhale, we'll step it all the way up between the hands. Remember, if it doesn't make it there, just pick it up and move it forward. <laughs> Spin the back heel flat. Warrior two, so inhale, windmill the arms up, shoulders right above the hips. Sometimes there's a tendency for your shoulders to be forward. Try to lean them back right over the hips, okay? Make sure that knee does not go past the ankle and press it open toward the pinky toe side of the foot a little. Gaze over the left fingertips, lift the belly. Now lean your torso forward, left forearm on the left thigh. Reach your right arm up and over in line with the ear. Spin the right tricep forward. So the pinky faces down, thumb faces up. Make sure that left knee stays over the ankle. Point it right over the middle toes. Inhale, warrior two, come on up. Exhale, and windmill the arms down. And we'll step back this time to downward facing dog. So we're, we're picking up the parts of a vinyasa flow practice. And that's what we're moving toward. We're gonna come through to seated. And vinyasa flow is a type of hatha yoga. Hatha means sun and moon. So little opposites coming together. I'm gonna lean back all the way down to the floor, hug the right knee in, and then take it over to the left side, look over the right shoulder for a twist. Inhale back to center. Left knee and right leg extends and then we'll twist to the other side. So left knee over to the right side, look over the left shoulder. And then come back through center Reach the tailbone towards the backs of the knees, stretch out the legs, or keep them bent, and come into your Shavasana. Let everything go, releasing your breath practice, just natural breathing, quiet mind and quiet body. I'll be back in a moment.
And start to make movements, stretch. Our quote today is from Desa Kachar, another quote about yoga. He says, yoga is the practice of knowing that you have a choice of where to place your attention. So rolling to the side and we'll come up to seated. It's such a wonderful thing to know that we can always choose where to place our attention. Let's bring the hands together, hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication. Sending out wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining today. Day seven, you did a week. Good work. Keep it up. Push the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Visit fightmasteryoga.com. Join our mailing list if you can afford a donation. There's a link there or below. And if you shop on Amazon, there's a banner link there. It doesn't cost you anymore, but it helps us. So I hope you have a great day. And thanks again. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it's going. Bye-bye.